Hi, today we are going for like proteins. But before we start the topic, if you are new to my channel, then subscribe to my channel for later updates. And uh, here we go for the lipoproteins. As we know, the lipoproteins, the name suggests the lipids which contains the proteins, or the lipids which attach or which contain the proteins. So, this, uh, what are these lipoproteins? Are actually these lipoproteins are the carrier of triacylglycerols and the cholesterols. So, uh, why they uh, why they are attached with the proteins? Means we have a question that why lipids should get attached with the proteins because they are insoluble in water and they are, they are hydrophobic in nature so they are, as they are insoluble in water so they should be get transported to brain, cardiac tissues, peripheral tissues etc. So they are attached with some proteins by which they can be transported easily. So uh, I have uh, I will study you the structure, synthesis, function and the metabolism of the lipoproteins. So here we will go for the structure. As you can see this is the whole structure of the lipoproteins. In the inside part, it contains triacylglycerols and the cholesterol esters. This T stands for triacylglycerols or triglycerides and the CE here is the cholesterol esters. In the inside, this is the lipid content part. But in the outside, you can see these are called the apoproteins. These pink pink balloon like structures are called the apoproteins. Apoproteins are the proteins that don't get attached with the lipids. They are called apoproteins. And this blue lining is called the phospholipid layer. And they are the polar head of the phospholipid layer, and these are the and these are the polar tail of the phospholipid layer. And this is all about the total structure of the lipoproteins, which contains triglycerides or the triglycerides and the cholesterol esters and the apoproteins and the phospholipid layers. And here you can see there are four varieties of lipoproteins are there: chylomicrons, VLDL, very low density lipoproteins, and next is the LDL low density lipoproteins and the SDL stands for high density lipoproteins. These are the four varieties of the lipoproteins that are present in the human body. So for your better understanding, I have written it synthesis, function and the metabolism. The synthesis means from where the chylomicrons are get synthesized. From the intestine, these chylomicrons are get synthesized and the VLDL is the very low density lipoproteins. They are synthesized from the liver. And the LDL, they are synthesized from the VLDL. Means VLDL to an intermediate density lipoprotein, they convert it into LDL or the low density lipoprotein. And next is the SDL. SDL, it is synthesized from intestine and the liver. So, this is all about the synthesis of the lipoproteins. And next, we are going for the function. From the function, as the chylomicron is a lipoprotein, so it transports triacyl glycerols. You have to remember this triacylglycerols. It transports triacylglycerols from the intestine because it is produced from the intestine. So it is transported from intestine to tissues. Means the function of chylomicron is it transports triacylglycerols from intestine to tissues. And the VLDL it also does the same function. It transports triacylglycerols from the liver to tissues. But the difference between the transportation of life proteins of the chylomicron and the VLDL is that it transports it endogenously. You have to remember the triacylglycerols which are transported from the liver to the tissues. These are transported endogenously. And next we will go to LDL. LDL it transports cholesterol. Just see, the, uh, these chylomicrons and the VLDL, they transport triacylglycerols. But the LDL, the low density lipoprotein, it transports cholesterol. It transports cholesterol from liver to peripheral tissues. So, this is the bad. Means, uh, if cholesterol is get, get attached to the peripheral tissues or the blood vessels, uh, there may be, disease may occur. Suppose, for example, atherosclerosis may occur. This atherosclerosis can cause to very it can be very fatal. So next we are going for SDL. SDL is good cholesterol means it transports cholesterol from peripheral tissues to the liver. The cholesterol which is transported from the liver to peripheral tissues by the LDL, they get collected, collected by the SDL and they are transported to liver where elimination of cholesterol occurs. Elimination means cholesterol can be utilized for producing steroid hormones or some uh, bile acids etc. So these are all about the function of the lipoproteins. Next we are going for the metabolism of the lipoproteins. 
how these live proteins are get metabolized. Suppose first is the chylomicron. Chylomicron they get attached to the adipose tissues or the skeletal muscles, and there they are get metabolized. And the VLDL, this triglycerols or the triglycerides, they get hydrolyzed, and the remnant intermediate density lipoprotein they get converted into low density lipoprotein. And next is the LDL, taken up by the peri peripheral tissues by reverse mediated endocytosis. And the SDL is metabolized as the liver excretes cholesterol as the, this is the cholesterol, C stands for cholesterol. This liver excretes cholesterol as bile acids. From where this liver get cholesterol? As the function of the SDL is to, they get trans, they transport cholesterol from peripheral tissues to the liver. The liver excretes cholesterol as bile acids or they can be used for further for the formation of steroid hormones. These are all about the structure, synthesis, function and the metabolism of the lipoproteins, its shortcuts. So I have drawn a graph for your better understanding. This is the graph of the lipoprotein. Means in the, this is the C stands for chylomicron, V stands for VLDL, L stands for LDL, S stands for SDL. In the C, for example, the chylomicrons here. The lipid content is very much more and the protein content is less. You can see I have drawn a blue color. This blue portion is the lipid part and the protein portion is the pink color part. In the chylomicron, lipid portion is more and the protein portion is less. And in the VLDL, where you can see the blue portion is somewhat less than the chylomicrons, means the lipid content is somewhat less from the chylomicrons and the protein part get increased. And the LDL, they get uh, lipid part is somewhat decreased and the protein part is increased. And the SDL, you can see lipid part is very much less and the protein content is very much higher. Actually, this is the density of the lipoproteins, means the chylomicron, the density of the chylomicron is very much higher than the SDL. The density of the lipoproteins get decreased from the higher to the chylomicrons to the SDL where the density of the lipoprotein is very much less. Why? Because of the lipid content is very much less in the SDL or the high density lipoprotein. So, this apoproteins apo, apo as you can see the protein that are attached with the lipids they are called as apoproteins. So, Chylomicrons, VLDL and LDL, these are the upper B family. You have to remember only two things. This upper B family contains chylomicrons, VLDL, LDL and the upper A family contains only SDL as this is a good cholesterol and this is SDL is anti-arthrosclerogenic because it um, helps in the excretion of cholesterol from the liver. Liver eliminates cholesterol as the formation of bile acids or the for formation of steroid hormones. And these are all about the whole total topic like proteins. I hope uh, you get understand the this synthesis function and the metabolism and its structure.